Hello, I'd like to show you the ZMAX part designer, uh, which is a feature in ZMAX 12 release 2. It's of most use to people who use IE. It's still very useful for EE users, and in fact it's actually quite a useful general purpose CAD tool. If I just click on Tools, Miscellaneous, ZMAX part designer, up comes the, the part designer. And you can, this is uh, effectively a next generation or next version of the previous ZMAX script object editor. We've really built it up quite a long way uh, uh, from there. And there's a whole range of things that you can do with it. I just want to show you some of these things in this video. First of all, there's a gallery mode that lets you just see previous designs in preview mode with some description so you can decide whether something is relevant to you or not. So all different types of things that you might want to be able to do. Um, let's just say that we choose this particular example and we're going to load it. Don't save any changes. You can see here that it looks, from this part, like the old script editor. You've got the shaded model view of it here. You've got a script that defines the object. But we've also got a bunch of icons that will help you to write the script by going through a point and click menu rather than just writing the text. Um, you've also uh, got a sketch mode that I'm going to show you. You're going to really like that. And I've showed you in the gallery mode. Let me just talk you through this particular uh, script so that you can see what's new and also what's consistent. I start off with just a parameter which I'm going to call scale and give a value of 1 to. You'll see what I use that for shortly. I then define a new object called slot and I give it a name and I give it some dimensions and you can see it there. That's that's the slot object. I then rotate it and one of the nice features here is the ability to see the ghost of the previous object that you were looking at. So you can see the differences step by step. I'm then going to revolve the object. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to scale the copy by 80%. I then take the difference of those two objects and then I union those objects to make a single object that looks like so. And then I'm giving it a color. Looks like this. Then I'm forming an extrude of an object called cathode. But there is no object called cathode. So let's go to sketch mode and look at cathode sketch. And cathode sketch has simply been drawn on here using the arrow tool and the line tool to simply draw points on this grid. I've just sketched this grid out and I've given this a name and so now when I go back to the script mode I can simply extrude that cathode sketch by a thickness of 0.2 lens units. So you can see there that's my cathode extruded. I then do the same thing with another script called anode, which as luck would have it, uh, you can see here. And so I extrude the anode objects and then I form a union which I call conductor. So I just form a union called conductor which is both the cathode and the anode. I give that its own colour and I also scale it by this parameter scale which is currently equal to 1 and then I form a union of the whole object. So that's a single object that consists of the lens body and the electrode uh, structure on the inside. If I go to ZMAX and change to the non-sequential mode I use a part object, part designer object, and I pick up the LED.ZPO, 
which is the uh, ZMAX part object. The previous ZS or ZMAX script object still works just fine, uh, but we, we've changed the name to part object because it's more general than it used to be. I can just load that into ZMAX and there's the part. And this just works so nicely. I can position this like any other part and give it optical properties just like any other ZMAX object. But there's that scale parameter that we had entered. And I can use that to vary the size of the electrode with respect to the, the body. In fact, I'm making it rather too big there. Maybe just back that off a little bit. 1.5. There's the electrode in there. Maybe just 1.2 would be enough to, to just get it in there. So there's the there's the electrode structure inside the LED and from within ZMAX I can vary the electrode structure um, relative to the LED body and the, the part designer is capable of a huge range of things so here are some other things that are really nice that you can now do uh, with a part designer that you couldn't previously as well as just writing a script we've got these icons that let you do the, the, the script but do it through a point and click interface. So let me just say that I wanted to design a lens. So I just click a lens, I can give it some name, nothing wrong with that lens. Uh, let me just change some of these from their defaults just so you can see them. Uh, and let me give it a bevel of you know 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So that creates this and of course rather than using numbers could have defined v uh, parameters and used names of uh, parameters. Let's just see that lens. We just build it. There it is. Nice looking lens. And then I go to my next line and let's just say I want to form an array of those lenses. Well, I can just form an array. Click on that. It asks which object do you want? Well, I want uh, lens one. I'll call it array one. I'll have five in X, five in Y, but maybe only just one in Z. I don't need to five by five arrays and then let me just build that again and you can see now I've got an array which is a five by five by one array of this uh, lens and I can also do other things I can uh, I can move this I can rotate them I can perform unions of objects I can take the difference of objects I can take the overlap of objects everything that I can do from the script I can also do from the icon based uh, menu up here and also from this insert uh, um, um, menu here I can do all of this as well okay uh, and then lastly as we saw there's a gallery mode that lets you just save things that you design in a way that you think you would be would be helpful um, and, and then you can just pick them up for, 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 for later use so many many great things to do uh, nice things in the ZMAX uh, uh, part designer is as well as saving as a ZMAX part object you can export uh, as I just step SAT or STL and that's very very handy because then you can use it with EE uh, you lose the parametric control but you know hey it's it's, it's fine I mean there's nothing wrong with uh, having just fixed uh, objects then you may not need parametric control so you can use if you need parametric control then you need to use IE but if you don't then you can use EE for the same uh, purposes and that really is the uh, ZMAX uh, part designer, uh, very powerful, very flexible, really developing into a miniature CAD program within uh, ZMAX itself. Thanks very much for watching this.